Are you looking for ideas to keep mulch in place in your garden? Well, stick around because we've got five easy ways that you can contain the mulch and keep mulch in your garden by using different edging materials. Hi there, we're Sean and Allison from Spoken Garden. Welcome to our garden care channel that we created to educate you and build your confidence so you can become a better gardener. For more garden care videos just like this, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And make sure and hit that bell right next to the subscribe button. You'll get notified as soon as our new videos come out. You can also hear us on our two podcasts or find us at SpokenGarden.com. All right, you guys, today we're here to talk to you about edging ideas for your mulch. Are you looking for ways to keep your mulch in place because it's spilling all over or you're just looking to make it look nicer? We have five easy ideas to show you that you can do right now. So guys, the five types of edging to contain and keep mulch in place in your garden today that we're gonna go over are concrete blocks or concrete pavers, rolls of plastic edging, hard plastics that come in sheets, a natural edge, and then using wood. If you wanna just skip ahead to a specific material, look down below in our description and we'll have timestamps next to each one of these materials so that you can just fast forward. So guys, the first material we wanna show you to use as edging to keep mulch in place in your garden is concrete pavers. They come in different sizes, they come in different shapes, and some lock and some don't. This is a specific one that's actually very narrow. It's made out of concrete. It has a nice round shape in the front of it, and then it has the direct opposite round shape on the back of it where each one can lock in front of each other as you lay it down. This is an easy one to install. You can see it right here. It's separating the pea gravel area of our, our fire pit area and the landscape that starts just on the other side of it with this arborist mulch. I really like the look of it. It gives a nice texture to the garden. Like Sean said, there's lots of different sizes and shapes and colors of this, so it really just depends on your preference. Make sure if you're gonna install this one that you prep the area before you lay these down and you level the whole area out where these are gonna go. If you don't, it's gonna do a lot of this and it's gonna do a lot of this, so make sure to level and have it compacted down underneath each one of these pavers in whatever shape or line you need to follow with these pavers. So guys, number two on the list of different landscape edging materials you can use to keep your mulch in place are rolls of plastic. And so you can see one right here, you can follow this line. It's got a little S-shaped curve to it. It's pretty cool. It's nice to use because you can actually contour this a lot easier than you can the concrete pavers that we showed you just earlier. This you can conform to a lot of different shapes in a lot of different situations. It actually gives some landscapes a more professional look. So as you can see, it does make a nice clean line between the lawn and our mulch. Sometimes the mulch spills over a little bit. It's gonna happen, but for the most part, we've been very happy with this. It was very easy to install. Sean and I got this in in less than a couple hours. We installed this with a rubber mallet and just literally digging this area out, digging it down. This roll of plastic edging is about four inches in height total. So we had to dig down about three inches, two and a half inches, so we could have that depth to get it down to and find the shape that we wanted. And then we, we just rolled it out, laid it out, found where we wanted to put it, took some stakes that came with this, pounded them into the ground to keep this roll in position, to keep this edging in position with a rubber mallet. And it was done. It's an easy edging idea because it's fast. So for maintenance guys, this is pretty easy to maintain. You just run your line trimmer right along the edge of it and it takes a beating. It'll take a line trimmer hitting it repeatedly over many years. This right here is about four years old and we haven't had any damage from the line trimmer yet. It's not brittle, it's still very strong and it lasts a long time. So guys, you can see part of this roll of plastic edging has actually popped up out of the ground and that's because this is where one of the rolls stopped and we had to add a new roll and then put and almost splice these together. You can see that rough cut right there. Literally, this just came up out of the ground. What we need what? to do is we need to dig this down, reposition this piece down on the ground flush, and then get a stake, punch it through one of these holes with a rubber mallet, and get this back down on the ground. So this is gonna happen when you meet one roll up with another. So something to consider when you're picking this to keep your mulch in place in your yard. So guys, the third way to keep mulch in place is actually having a natural edge. And what we mean by that is dig a trench right along the edge of your grass and you make it so it's angled. So here's the edge of your grass and you can see it right here. Here's the edge of your grass. You do an angle and you dig down 
So you have a flush edge here, up and down, and this goes in at an angle, and you have this lip here. And what happens is, is mulch will come up, and you just put it right up against it, and this, there's nothing else here. There's no plastic, there's no concrete. You have a natural edge to contain the mulch right up against your grass. For those of you that really do like that natural look, this would probably be a good choice for you. Plus, it's probably the easiest method that we're presenting today because you really only need a shovel. Yep. That's the only tool you need. You don't have to buy anything, so it's super cheap obviously. And if you don't want plastic in your yard and you don't want rock, this would be the option for you probably. You can use a flathead shovel, you can use a roundhead shovel, it's just whatever you have available if you don't have the funds, if you don't want to go to the store, especially right now because we're under quarantine because of the pandemic, this is probably one of the most viable options for you to keep your mulch in place. Sean, are there any reasons why you wouldn't want to use this type of barrier? Yeah, uh, good question. The reasons I wouldn't want to use it is because it's easy for the mulch to go back into the grass area. But unlike using the other materials we've already shown you, the concrete pavers or the roll of plastic edging, there's nothing that is actually up above the grass area to keep it from actually moving from where it's at in the garden bed into the grass. Usually with any other types of materials as a barrier to keep the mulch in place, you keep it up a little bit higher than say the grass or your garden area. So that way, if there's a lot of water, if there's wind, if there's critters or animals moving through and they kick things around, or if the mulch moves in that area, it has something literally sticking up out of the ground above the grade and above the grass to keep it in place. In this option, it's not gonna do that. That makes sense. It might be a little bit messier and you know compared to like a synthetic material or something. Yes, definitely. The fourth edging material to keep your mulch in place would be wood. There are a lot of different options and shapes and sizes. Um, it just depends on what your preferences are. This is treated cedar. This is just a two by four. And this could be used as edging. Maybe you want to use more of a natural look, but it's round. It's kind of a different shape, different size. That's an option. So guys, with our two by fours here today, what you want to do is dig your trench. A round shovel's okay or a flathead. And what you do is you find the contour where you want to put it and you dig down to the depth you want. But make sure when you have this, only dig down so there's at least a little bit of a lip and any of these edges, but especially with this, make sure there's an edge still sticking up above, just a little bit, maybe half an inch to an inch, above the grade of the grass and your bed. Make sure you follow the contour as best you can of where you're separating the grass and where you're separating the mulch. In this case, we want to follow this contour this way, and we want to make sure that this edge follows this contour as best we can. If we don't, what's going to happen is when we dig that trench, that these pieces aren't going to match up when you meet board end to board end. And so then it's going to look really goofy. It's not going to look nice so at all. I could see that being kind of a con for using this material because it sounds like it's going to take a little bit longer to like install. Yep, definitely it will. Um, there's going to be a lot more finesse with it. You're going to need to meet up the ends of the wood as you turn and you might have to make more cuts on this wood because it is a rigid material. So if you have more turns or any more angles instead of just a straight line and 90 degree angles to meet up the wood, you're definitely going to need to make more cuts. You're going to have more chances of them not meeting up correctly. So personally, I don't think I would choose this type of, especially a two by four. It's just too rigid for me. I think I'm such a perfectionist. That would drive me crazy trying to like get it all to match up. I think I would choose something more fun like a beech wood or driftwood. I don't know if, they, know if Sean would let me put that in the yard, but something that already has an irregular shape to it because then it doesn't really matter how it matches up as long as it sits above the grade a little bit. This material is great if you have stretches that are straight and that have 90 degree turns all around the property. This works great. If you have slow turns or curves in your area of your yard that you want to separate the mulch from other areas of your yard, then this is not the material probably to use. So guys, our last material, number five, is the hard plastic. And so this edging, you can see it's in straight lines, it's in sections. You can meet ends of it up and it's fairly easy to install. All you need is to use a shovel to dig down, find your line, and then take a rubber mallet and hit the top. And this is built to take, the, take it right on top. And all you do is just place it down in here and start pounding it down. That's it. Now, this material will break down over time a lot faster than some of the other materials, and that's because it's a rigid plastic. So, something to consider when you're using this material. But it is easy to conform, 
and it goes in really fast. Those are the five different edging materials that we would use and that we would recommend to you to easily install in your garden to keep your mulch in place. We hope that was helpful for you in making your own decision and choosing a material that would work for your garden. Comment down below and let us know if any of those edging options are something that you might consider. Or if you've used them already. Make sure to also hit that thumbs up button, let us know we're doing a good job. And also hit that subscribe button if you already haven't subscribed to our channel so you get updates on our newest videos. And we'll be back soon with more mulching videos and other garden care, plant care type videos. So stay tuned. And thank you so much for watching and for being here. Thanks everybody. Until we'll next time. We'll, we'll see, see you in the garden. garden.